All right, so uh, welcome to my let's play for Radiant Historia, Perfect Chronology. So this is on the 3DS. Um, I am playing this on an emulator, so we'll see how this uh, works out. Um, and I'm not entirely sure how I want to display these screens, but I'm going to leave it like this for now with the small one in the corner, because I'm assuming most of the action takes place on the big screen, but if need be, I'll switch that up. Um, so I've played a little bit. Radiant Historia. Perfect chronology. Yeah, so I played a little bit of the DS game. So this is like a remake of the original DS game with some added story content, I believe. And um, I played very little of it, though, like maybe two or three hours. So I don't really remember, and it was a long time ago. But let's jump into a new game here. And um, there's our two modes, so there's the perfect mode, which is players familiar with the original, and there's the append mode, which... So the difference is the perfect mode, I think, incorporates the new stuff into the flow of the story, and the append mode adds it after you've beaten everything. But from everything I've read, perfect mode is the way to go, so it basically just adds like side story content during the game as well, so we'll do that. Uh, and we're going to play on normal. And we'll skip that. And here we go. The sand engulfed everything. We failed. Yet again. How many times has it been? And how many more will the world disappear into sand? I tire of all this, my sister. As do I. But we cannot give up. We must succeed. If we don't. <sighs> yes, you're right. We have to do this. Can we really save the world? I don't know, but we must have faith for now. Come, let's start again. Yes, let's. That's why we possess this power after all. This, this time, time, the, the true, true history, history will be, be written. written. So to the east lies Alistel, a nation under siege by the war-hungry kingdom of Renorg. Uh, it is here that a certain intelligence agent is about to embark on a new mission. A mission of critical import. This agent, the most able member of Alistel's special intelligence unit, is known for his signature red garb. Uh, his name is Stock. Or Stokey? Stock? No. Maybe they'll say his name so we'll be able to pronounce that properly. Good to see you're as prompt as always. Spare me the small talk. What do you need, Heiss? <laughs> Blunt as always, too. Well, that's fine. It doesn't matter how rude you are so long as you get results. 
speaking of which, I have a mission for you, Stock. As you know, it's been some time since we went to war with Granord. Yes. I hear the situation worsens by the day. You hear right. Granord, in particular near the Imperial Ruins, has faced the worst of the desertification. They're desperate to claim any land that will yield a harvest. It's a problem, to be sure. As such, I've been sending agent after agent into Granorg to gather info. But every time, they've been faced with... complications. The most recent expedition was no different. Which brings us to your mission. An agent with vital intel on Granorgite armaments has been stranded in enemy territory. I'll need you to rescue this agent and escort him safely back to Alistair. A rescue mission? Wouldn't that usually be an army job? Unless, of course, the army isn't aware of it. You catch on quickly. Now, the rendezvous point is west of Lasville Hills. Another operative will ensure the agent arrives there safely. Even if he has to lay down his own life to do so. As I'm sure you can guess, I need you to handle this before military personnel catch wind. They've been eager to do away with our special intelligence unit for some time now. Indeed, they seem to relish any opportunity to drag us through the muck. So, this must be done secretly and quickly. Correct. You're the only man who can get it done under the circumstances, Stock. The only one I trust. I'll get it done, all right. You needn't worry about that. That's what I like to hear. Uh, I'll also be assigning you two subordinates for this job. Subordinates? I'd rather you didn't. If I'm the sole survivor again... If you don't want that to happen, you'd best learn to make use of their talents. Otherwise, you may be better off thinking of them as mere tools to aid in your survival. They're waiting for you outside, by the way. Tools, huh? That aside, what are these talents you speak of? You're the agent, aren't you? Find out yourself. Uh, moreover... There's more? I'm entrusting you with this. old book? It's called The White Chronicle. The White Chronicle? Strange name. Mm -hmm. It's blank. Don't worry about that. It may nevertheless prove useful on your mission. How so? Oh, never mind. Just think of it as a lucky charm for now. It may not help, but it can't hurt, can it? I suppose not. I'm off then. Alright, so we obtained the White Chronicle, which I'm assuming is probably going to be... Because all I remember about this game is there's something about time travel and timelines and stuff, so... Uh, let's see. So we have to meet Heise's agents at uh, Lasville Hills? Whatever. I'll be waiting, Stock. Oops. Sorry, I was just trying to change the screen here for a sec, but alright, I'll leave it like that. Um, waiting for the day you finally catch up to me. Interesting. That must be them. Are you the two Heist said would be working under me? You bet we are. I'm Rainy. Nice to meet you.
My name is Marco. It's a pleasure meeting you. Right, so we have Marco and Rainy and Stock. Understood. So, can you two fight? What are your specialties? Of course we can fight. I'm good with spears and I can use a few spells too. And I use swords, but I much prefer healing. You might also say I'm good with intel. Sounds good. I'm stuck. Heiss already told us. From what we hear, you're his golden boy in special intelligence. <laughs> you're just as aloof as he said you'd be. I like that. A man should be reserved. Not some chatterbox who can't keep his mouth shut. I do approve. I'm relieved as well. But, um, leaving that aside, uh, stock, sir? Just stock's fine. Well then, um, stock, why don't you explain our mission? It's an extraction. We'll rendezvous with the target west of Lasville Hills. Oh, is that it? Sounds like a piece of cake. Oh, come on, Rainy. You always jump to conclusions after just the slightest bit of info. So what? Has that ever led me astray? It may this time. After all, from what I've gathered, the Grand Org Army has already reached Lasville Hills. Wait, really? But that's just south of here. Probably only a matter of time till they attack Alistair. The agent we're tasked with extracting is a spy who's been investigating Granor. According to Heiss, this man has some vital information on the armaments they prepared. Granor's armaments, huh? If we knew what they were going to throw at us, we'd be able to turn this war around no problem. We can't fail. That's right. Do you suppose we'll be engaging Granorg soldiers then? That's why Heiss is sending me. I... I, I see. He must really have a lot of faith in you, huh? Giving you such an important mission and all. In any case, we need to devote all our effort to the mission. <laughs> eh? <laughs> What's going on? The White Chronicle. It's glowing. Marco and Rainy? They're dead. What's going on? What is this? I don't understand. Everything okay, Stock? You're awfully quiet all of a sudden. Are you, uh, upset that Rainy spoke out of turn? No, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. Come, that's enough talk. Let's be on our way. Oh, wait a sec. Heist left us some money for the mission. So we got 500 Gs. You should hang on to it, Stock. You're our leader, after all. Yep. Come on, let's hit up some shops around town for gear. We've got to be ready for whatever might happen. That reminds me of the vision I saw of Marco and Rainy. No, I have to put it out of my mind. Focus on the mission. Yeah, let's just ignore the random ominous vision we had. You're right. 
We need to be fully prepared before we depart. Let's go. So it's been a. I, yeah, I really don't remember any of this game to be honest. I know I played the the intro, but it's been too long. There's a treasure chest here, so let's open that. Two soothing balm. Um, so I'm not entirely sure where to go. Uh, probably don't want to go back there, so we'll head down this way. Uh, wait, I guess. Huh. Oh, probably the elevator. All right, let's go to the first floor. Understood. May I have a? Well, we can't go to the second floor. Oh, we can go. What? Oh, we could have gone to the third floor. All right, let's check it out. Wait. I'm so confuzzled. Can we go in here? So is the third floor the same as the second floor? Oh, there's a chest over there, though. We got a charm. Let me check out the second floor again. I'm curious. No, nothing on that side. Um... Can we talk to him again? What's the matter? No, kind of rude. Get to your mission. Um... Not really. Oh, settings. Here we go. So I just want to lower that slightly and raise Radiant that. Radiant Historia. Okay. That should be fine like that. Uh, message speed's fine. Everything's fine. Fine, 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 fine. All right. I wonder if gallery, if we have... So we get, I guess, all of the gallery stuff. These are kind of annoying because they're almost like little cutscenes. <laughs> Probably don't want to watch those. But I just wanted to see the one where the vision of death. Yeah. All right. Okay. Right, so let's head back down to the first floor. Cause so let me open the menu again. So you need to meet heist agent at uh, Lasville Hills and return to Alistair. Okay. So let's grab a save. Perfect. Uh, who's this? Basement has a floor for Thaumatech experiments and medical treatment. Interesting. Anything in here? Ooh. Holy water and herbal tea. Okay. Well, I wonder if we can equip that uh, charm we got. I don't know what it does. So it increases HP by three, attack and magic by one. Do that. You sell things. Um, I'll be counting on you. Oh, something about help. Yes. All right. So let's head on out. Oh, I guess these are the shops. But how do we access them? Oh, there's stairs over here. Which I'm assuming is a healing item. I mean, we could always check, but... Let's see, that is an upgrade, and we can afford it. That's a bigger upgrade, but we can't afford it. Um... So she uses lances, and he uses swords. Um... I'm tempted to buy it, but I'm not going to. I'm assuming there's an armor shop on the other side. No, nope, it's a bar. Welcome. <laughs> Excuse. We, I think we can only go in the doors that actually have like a opening. So there was one on the other side, um, and I didn't go in there, so let's check it out. This one here. Mm, 
nothing in here. All right. Forward ho. Hmm. More city. All right. How do we get up there? I guess we don't. Like we'd have to go around the other way. Um. Three hundred G's. Oh, we almost have enough for that sword. We only need two hundred more. I wonder if we could sell like our herbal tea, but it probably wouldn't give us enough money. Um. I really want those chests, but I don't think there's any way across. Let me double check. The guards are blocking. Well, we can talk to them and see why they're blocking. Excuse me. Road is closed. All right. So I guess we can't get those chests just yet. We'll have to probably come back for them later. Welcome. Fifty G a night? No way. mission's gonna turn the tides of this war in our favor, right? Most likely. Well, all right then. Let's do this. Come on, Mark. Let's go. Uh, okay. I'll do my best. Stock. You're as cold as ever. I don't mind you giving me that treatment, but you really should try to warm up to everyone else. By the way, you heading out? Yeah. Let me guess. An SI job? Out with it, Rosh. What do you want to say? I have a bad feeling about this mission stock. It's going to be dangerous. That's nothing new. All of my missions are dangerous. It's more than that. I just... Please, trust me. Huh? I can't tell you how many of my compatriots I've seen draw their last breath over the years. But every time it happened, I got the strangest feeling. It almost felt like I knew they were destined to perish. The stench of death weighed heavy on them. And now it weighs heavy on me. That's right. What I'm sensing from you is nothing good. Even if you manage to survive, you'll end up with something like this arm of mine. Your gauntlet. Hey, I got out lucky. Might be a limb short, but at least I'm still alive. Not everyone ends up so fortunate, though. You'd do well to remember that. We're just talking about the vision of Rainia Marquis's death. Does Rosh's premonition have to do with that? Hmm. Does that mean I'm going to die too? Stock? Yeah? What, what is it? What is it? Listen to you. You were scared white. I really got to you, didn't I? If so, I'm sorry. No, it wasn't that. Listen, just don't worry about it. <sighs> All right then. Not like I have much choice, knowing you. No matter how much I argue, you'll still go off on this mission of yours. Alistair's very survival rests on my shoulders. I can't fail. I won't. I hear you. That's the way things are, I guess. The mission is everything. That's one thing us military folk actually agree on with the SI. By the way, I'm sorry if what I said spooked you. I just had to warn you. 
I appreciate the concern. Honestly. But I'll be all right. Allow me to prove just how wrong your intuition can be. I hope you do. This time, I wouldn't mind being wrong. Well, I should be getting back. Lieutenant General Raoul summoned me. Stock, don't die out there, okay? I won't. Excuse me, Stock. Shall we be heading out? Hold up. You know that guy? Yeah. He's my best friend. Wow. That arm of his is really something, by the way. Fake, yeah? It's Thaumatech. It might be artificial, but he can move it just as well as a real arm. Anyway, I'm sure you'll be seeing more of him later. Come on. Let's go. Okay. Uh, I'm sure we will be seeing more of him later when we're dead. Uh, but I think with that, we'll take a break here. I'm just going to run back because I know there's a save point up here. Um, but things seem to be interesting. Um, I've been meaning to play this game for quite some time, so kind of glad that I'm doing it now. Um, but as always, thanks for watching, and until next time.